Now this morning, trading, we got a beautiful trend, but it's going down and we're going long. What am I doing? I'm talking about this trade, bouncing off of support, the overall downtrend, the action, the price, entering, exiting, and making over $2,000 right here in this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned. What's going on guys, Patrick here, and well, we're looking at Bitcoin as it's selling off this morning. It's Tuesday morning. We had a high, or last night, around 49,800. We pulled back down here to the 48,400 level now, and we have some support at this level. So I'm kind of watching this 15 minute candle. I'm gonna switch over to the five minute chart right now to see if we can get some buyers to step in here and try to push this back up. Right now I'm watching this 48,400 level. If we could push back above that, I'll look to jump in long and we could push up here to the 48, 600 to 800 level bouncing off of this support right now. So the reason I switched from the 15 minute chart, um, the five minute chart is really simple because right now this 15 minute candle just opened or it opened about five minutes ago. So we don't have a ton of information here yet. This thing could, you know, turn into a hammer and squeeze back up. So looking at the five minute chart to see when we can get some type of reversal back up here and push, I think, like I said, above that 48,400 level, that's where I'm looking to buy and then looking for this to push up here to the 48,600 or 800 level at that point. So that's what we're watching right now. That's what we got going on. Bitcoin kind of consolidating on this level right here is 48,400 level consolidating there. So we're looking to buy the dip here and look for a breakout or just like a, you know, a retest of this previous support or previous resistance area. And really after that, we got 49,000 kind of in play. So I would say 49,000 would be a target as well. If we can push above this 48,600, we should be able to get a retest of that 49,000 level. So right now still, down there, 48,300. The low on this candle right here, this five minute candle that we're looking at, the low on this bad boy is 48,279. So I'm kind of watching this right here. I'm gonna buy, I think we should get a quick pop above 48,400 here and get a pop up here. Let's see if we can get a quick pop. There we go, above 48,400 already. That worked out beautifully, oh my gosh. Hey, when you're good, you're good. Watch this, up to $1,000, let's go. A little bit higher here. And we're going to lock it down above a thousand here. Ding, ding, ding. Let's see if we get a little bit more push up here to the 500, 48,500 level there. 48,500 coming, 48,500 coming. And we're going to lock it down there at 48,475 for the sell. So, wow, over a thousand dollars in profit there in about two seconds. You guys saw it live happening here. And I want to break it down again, kind of why I'm buying at that point. And this could, you know, really push back up a lot more. It looks like it's already going to push up. Look at, look at what I said. Did I not just say, literally, did I not just say this? That the 15-minute candle, as it was down here at the 300 level on that 15-minute candle, you know, there was a chance that it could pop back up, become a hammer. And, well, look at it. It's popping back up and looking very hammery right now. We still got about about uh, six, seven minutes left on this chart, on this 15 minute candle to close. But look at that beautiful hammer. We had this hammer here. So I was expecting a reversal at this point. But like I said, looking at the 15 minute chart, it was kind of like, okay, well maybe, you know, if we look at the five minute chart, is that gonna give us a better idea of kind of what's going on? Waiting for that next opportunity. It's still early in the morning. It's only uh, 11.39 here Eastern or 539 in Hawaii time. So already up $1,000 here and looking for some more money to be made today. More money to be made, but let's see if we get this breakout here. We need to break out of this downward trend here, and then we would enter for the break above this line here. And we should get a push up to the 48,000, the high on this 48,700, 800 area from there. Let's see if we can get it. Again, going back to that 15 minute candle, how's that 15 minute candle looking? Look right now, it's starting to pull back some more. So it's not as much of a hammer candle anymore. So we're kind of just waiting and watching. We've got about five minutes left. I'm ex I wouldn't say I'm excited, but I'm interested to know how this 15 minute candle closes here and see if we can get a breakout. We got a lot of support on this level as well. So 
We've bounced off this level many times. You can see that 48,200 level multiple times there, bouncing since beginning uh, about like the middle of August. We've bounced off this level now, off this 48,000 level here multiple times. So we know that there's you know decent support there. We know there's good price action at that point. So now we're just waiting to see if we can get that breakout here. And, all right, so we've gotten stuck, like I said, off that downward trend multiple times. We are now selling down there to the 48,193. And that's like right where that support is that we identified that 63 area. So we're going to get long here in 400 level just for a quick bounce, kind of just a reaction bounce off of that support level there at the 48,163. And I'm going to probably add into this as well. If we can, if we dip lower, I'm going to add into it because I think we should get a nice little reversal here off of this level. 48,400 looking for a push up here. There we go, 40,300 coming up. Looking good so far. Let's see if we can lock down another thousand dollars in profit this morning. Oh wow. Oh wow. Didn't add there. Should have added. Son of a gun. Oh man. Why did I not add through that? I fuck. I knew I should have added. There's that push back up we were looking for, looking for 48,400 level to push up there, that downward trend here. Looking for 48,400. Let's see if we can get 48,400 here. There we go. 75s, 50s, 350, 350. Trying to push through there, having a little bit of trouble, resistance coming in there, that downward trend. Give it a second. I think we can push. Let's see. 350s coming up. I'll take 350 at this point, I think. <laughs> 360s, 360s, 360s. Come on, push through there. If we can't push through here. I'm going to get out. Let's go. Over, it's got to go over 80. It's got to go over 380 here. Just not wanting to push. There we go. There we go. There we go. Push, 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 40s, 40s, 400, 400, 400. I'm going to take it right there. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get greedy because you know what's going to happen. I, I'm going to get greedy. It's going to drop back down. Or now that I sold, it's going to go to the boot. But, hey, we locked out the profit. We had our target, that 48, 400 area. We're pretty darn close to it. The problem is we got this, you know, a little bit of resistance. We got this downward trend. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to take my profit there, and uh, we'll see. Whoa, this one's probably going to squeeze up. Watch it. Watch it go. It's gonna squeeze through. It's gonna squeeze through. Oh gosh. Ay ay ay, poppy. All right, I'm gonna lock it down. I got things I gotta do. I'm gonna finish this video up. I'm actually heading out on a flight today, so I gotta get this work done and get this all edited up for you guys and um, all that fun stuff. So if you guys haven't already, do me one big favor: hit that like button, subscribe button down below, and all the buttons and all that, all that, all that fun, 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 fun stuff. I'll talk to you guys later on.